Hello and welcome to another episode. Today uh, Belbara has been into the dealer, which was uh, September the 6th. I think it was its 23rd time. I'll just double check that. Yeah, 23rd time in. And finally, I have my active sound design back. After 331 days since I lost it when they first swapped the amplifier back last October. Um, Remember, the amplifier failed in July, so I was waiting forever to get a new one. But they must have accidentally disconnected it when they swapped the amp, because I think it must be underneath the Meridian amp in a, in a different module. But for whatever reason, when they asked Kia Technical for help, they didn't tell him there was a separate active sound design module. So this just went on and on and on. And how many more times did I go back? I don't know, three, four times? over the course of nearly a year. So finally, I have all my functions in my car working, which is good. Whilst it was in, to save having to take it back for another day, I nagged them about the ICCU update. So despite it not being on the front of desk systems and not on, they couldn't see the update, people in the comments uh, had already been receiving it when they were taking their car in and um, when the workshops were running the Kia Diagnostics tool it was seeing updates um, so that's what I asked um, service desk to pass on to the technician so uh, they put the update on and I'm, I now know the reference is uh, the UK reference is 230071 the EU reference is KCE 2392E470-CV. I know the update description is ICCU upgrade EB6CV slash EB6GT, CV or EGT. LDC diagnostic logic enhancement. The LDC is the low voltage DC circuit, which is what charges the 12 watt battery of the ICCU. And that's been implicated in people being stranded in America when the ICC you is failing. Obviously if it's not charging the 12 watt battery then that's, that's just another reason it, it needs this extra diagnostic. Uh, it says this bulletin provides a procedure to upgrade the ICCU for some EV6 and EV6 GT vehicles to enhance the diagnostic logic for overcurrent while low voltage DC converter is in operation. That'll be charging the 12 watt battery and using it in the car. Now, when I went in uh, to collect the car, they said they put it on, but um, it wasn't applicable to my car. Now, mine's a rear-wheel drive with no heat pump, so I wonder if people who've had this, it's an all-wheel drive thing they've been doing. But, I mean, the TSB in America wasn't specific about all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, so I still think it would have got it eventually. So my dealer's done it, despite not being able to claim warranty for it, but I think Kia and my dealer owe me this much because of all the times I've had to go in just for a bloody loose connection on my active sound design so um, it's on so I have a before the update um, ECU dump from car scanner and an after update from the same before the update software version was NE1A024 and after it was NE1A037 and the other version number that changed was Manufacturing ECU Software number. Um, that changed from ECV1E1 IE S05R000 to ECV1E3 IES12 R000. So that's what's changed and how you can tell it's been done. So, so I'd argued mine still needs the update and they put it on anyway so um, in the comments today some have said they've had the dealer contact them about this update so it is gradually coming out and more and more people have seen it so I think it's live and there but, but whether it's applicable to all cars um, I honestly don't know but I think it should be um, judging by all the ICCU failures and problems they've had in the States. So, we shall see what happens. Hopefully now, this will be the last time my car goes in uh, before its service, first ever service in November of this year. So, 
fingers crossed I don't have to go in before that for anything else but uh, things are looking up finally and everything is now working thanks for watching